Hello gamers, Main Chamber here for another edition of tonight on Main Chamber's Game Table, where tonight I am trying again to get a investigator to survive my game for Dice Cthulhu that I designed. Um, it's been a what seems like a never-ending quest to get one of my investigators to survive on camera uh, in this game that I designed. Um, so I designed this game, and if you think this game looks interesting to you and you'd love to try it out, uh, go ahead and uh, go to the link in my uh, description. It leads you to uh, the itch.io link where I have this game up as a pay what you want. So you can download it for free and give it a shot. If you'd like to throw uh, a little uh, support at this channel and pay a little money for it, you could do that as well. All the money goes towards me buying more games and games accessories to share with you here on the channel. So thank you. And to all of you that have supported me in that way, thank you so much. It's just, it's like a dream come true. You know, I've been a hobby game designer. Hobby game designer, yes, I design hobby games, but also <laughs> it's my hobby designing games for, for a very long time. And it's just wonderful to get it out there and share it with other people. So uh, thank you so much for all that. Okay, so uh, that brings us to this video here. And this video is, uh, a, is me being stubborn, again, uh, trying to get a, an investigator to survive on camera in the fight against the Elder God that is trying to make his way into our world. Okay, so um, last video, I had a pretty solid team. They were pretty well geared up going into that final encounter, and then suddenly the ones just rained from the heavens. I rolled so many ones. <sighs> okay, so... Let's hope I can roll all my ones at the beginning of this game. All right, so our investigating team for tonight. The professor is back. A soldier. A reporter. And a detective. All right. So let's see if this team can do something. This is a pretty... That's a pretty even... It's got a little bit of a good split between investigation and combat, but so did my last team, so we'll see what happens. All right, so they get wind of something horrible happening. <laughs> it's like Groundhog Day. Great movie, by the way. And the invest the clues are hidden somewhere like that. Um, and let's get the dice for our people. I will keep the blue dice for the professor. Let's do the... I kind of like these uh, stone dice for the soldier. He rolls two dice in combat, so he's going to need an additional one. Uh, the reporter will give, him, um, will give him those purple dice. He rolls two dice for investigations, too. And then, um, see what else. See what I can do here. Where's my purple? I want to get another purple. Yeah, there they are. Just to remind me who is who. And the detective will play the same dice he played last time. Okay. All right. So I've already rolled the investigation dice. So they are going to go into their investigation. They are highly set up for acing through these investigations. Okay. Reporter, um, guess we'll keep the two for the reporter. Wow, I mean, this, this is pretty good. Uh, however, I, don't, I think, oof, I think there's some, oh, no, I think, no, I don't have it. I don't think I have it. Yeah, no. So we're going to have uh, the detective force one of these threes to re roll. Came up a four. Don't think that helped a ton. All right, well, here we go. So six defeats a six. Doubles defeats a four. Doubles defeats a four. And that's it. So we add a machination, or a, not a machination, a impending doom token. As the forces of the mythos start to marshal their forces against this these interlopers, this investigation. And now they have to make a temporary sanity roll. Okay, everybody's good. Then they have to continue their investigation to see if they can find that final clue. And they do. They do. So they find that clue. Now everybody gets to make a check to see if they uh, find an artifact. And ooh, good. Uh, the detective finds one and the professor finds one. See what those are? Okay, the detective's got himself an elder sign. Nicely done. 
And the professor has himself a mystic shield token, which is going to definitely come in handy for him because he doesn't save as well as the other uh, characters, the other investigators. All right, so we go into our second phase of the investigation. Let's see what we can find here. With all that investigative power, they still had a problem with that. Okay, I don't think we're going to have as much of a problem this time. Nope. We got this. So six and six defeats or finds a six, six finds a six, doubles finds a five, two finds a two. Yeah, that was a cakewalk. All right, let's see if anybody finds an artifact. And nobody finds an artifact, so they get um, mythos knowledge tokens. So I, I put them by them. I'm just going to kind of make a pool of them over here. So um, first time, two of them got them. And then this time, all four of them got them. So we're looking at six Mythos Knowledge Tokens. They're kind of here off camera. There we go. Yeah, I'll just put them in a pool um, because, yeah, it, was, it gets a little messy after a while. And I could use a die or something, but I, I think I'll stick with, uh, with these old tokens because I like them a lot. Okay, so now we go into our third phase of the investigation. And we've got good. The professor himself rolls doubles, which is nice. The reporter has to keep one, so that's doubles. So that's pretty good. The detective will force one of those fives to reroll. And, of course, it's still a five. And so, let's apply the effects. So, four discovers a four. Doubles discovers one of these fives. Doubles discovers the other five. And, unfortunately, they have an impending doom token. And everybody has to make a temporary insanity roll. Did I make a temporary insanity roll last time? We'll make two this time. So, everybody's good. One... And the reporter is out for this last phase of the investigation. So here we go. All right, so double one defeats any result. Double of anything defeats any result. So uh, bring the reporter back. See if anybody found a artifact. And yes, 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 Professor finds himself another mystic shield token so he's going to give that to the reporter so at least he has an extra save himself all right now we move into the combat phase which is four monster dice plus one for each impending doom token that was accrued during the investigation which is that case now the monsters of the mythos have come for those invest sticking their noses where they don't belong all right, and Mystic Shield Token. There are two of them got Mystic Shield Tokens, right? No, just, yeah, three. Okay, so they got their Mystic Shield Tokens. Elder Sign, Mystic Shield Tokens. All right, let's take on these monsters. The monsters are now swooping in. All right, and let's see what happens. So the soldier now gets to roll two dice in combat. Everybody else is one. All right. So the soldier is going to choose the three to stay, I guess. Sure. All right, so we have three, four, five, six. That's interesting. Um, the detective will have one of these ones re-roll. Doesn't have rolls of one. I swear that happens to me more often than anybody else. Or anything else that rolls the same die that it was. Okay, so three defeats a three. Four defeats a four. And that's it. Ugh. Okay, that's not great. All right, so they have to make a save test now. Everybody's good. And now they have to also make a sanity test, except for the detective who is wielding an elder sign. This is still just a temporary insanity roll. And they're fine. Everybody's fine. Okay. Um, yeah, okay, here we go. Soldier rolls two dice in combat. Okay, so, huh. Guess that's all we got. 
guess that's all we got. So uh, doubles defeats one result. Three defeats a three. We're still at two. So we have to make a save test and a sanity test. So here's the save test. See, no one's here, which makes me nervous. Because when we get to that final encounter, <laughs> that's when the ones are going to come out. All right, anyway, and now we make a sanity test. All except the detective. Okay, we're good. Okay. So. Back into combat. All right, so there you go. Two ones, one and one, one and one, boom, finally, wow. Okay, good. Now we roll to see if anybody finds an artifact. And yes, they do, which is good. I rolled a lot of those lately. So the detective and the reporter each get yet another mystic shield token. So um, the detective's gonna give that soldier. No. No, he's gonna give it to himself because he's got that older sign. All right. All right, so they're in the second combat phase now. Uh, the reporter's gonna give a Mystic Shield token to Soldier. That way, everybody has at least one way to save himself. And now we roll as many as we did in the first combat phase. And these are now the monsters of the Mythos. So here goes our heroes. Gonna keep that four. Double doubles. Nice. Um, the detective is gonna have one of those fives re roll and rolls a six. Okay. Okay, so here we go. Four defeats of four. Four defeats of four. Doubles defeats of five. Doubles defeats of six. Two left. They have to make a save test and then a sanity test. So here we go. Save test. Uh, the reporter is rolling a fail to save. He's going to use his mystic shield token to re-roll that. And he rolls a one and he's dead. <laughs> okay. Gotta love those ones, kids. Um, okay. And now they must make a sanity test, all except the detective. Oh, and the uh, reporter is no longer with us. All right, good, so they make sanity tests. Okay, back to the combat. All right, so two, two defeats them. Okay, let's see if they get an artifact. And nobody gets an artifact, okay. Now, we go to the final encounter. Five cultists. And a ceremony, summoning an elder god, tentacles, writhing into our reality from another reality. And let's see how this goes. Probably got a lot of mythic knowledge tokens. I wasn't keeping track because I don't expect to survive, but <laughs> I guess I'll go back and do the math later. I'll just throw, I'll slop them down. All right, so we're gonna fight the cultists. All right, so. Not terrible for our first try here. Yeah, there's not much I can do there, so I'm not gonna do that. So here we go, one defeats a one, one defeats a one, three defeats a three. Doubles defeats another. Okay, so we defeated quite a few of the cultists. There's only one cultist left. However, that means that we have to make three save checks and a sanity roll. So here's the first save check. Not great for the soldier. Not great at all. All right, and then second save check. All right, so the professor has to re-roll. Okay, and third save check. All right, everybody's okay there. Sanity test, uh, everybody but the detective. And they're good. And this is permanent insanity territory, folks. Okay, they're gonna fight this cultist. And they're taking that cultist down. So, yes, one defeats one. Now they have to make two save rolls. 
and a sanity test. First save roll. The professor is dead because he has to take the lowest of his rolls. Second save test. All right. Then sanity roll. That's for the soldier. He's okay. Combat roll. All right, the, con the soldier got a six, so that turns it down to five. They make two save rolls and a sanity roll. So soldier fails a save roll, so he dies. All right, uh, detective doesn't have to make sanity roll, but he has to make the second save roll, and he's fine. He doesn't have to make sanity, so attack. I uh, could reroll that. Might as well. Nope. All right. Save. Save. Attack. Save. Save. Attack. Save. Save. I'm sorry. Yeah, attack. Okay, good. Brought him down to four. Save. Save. Attack. Save. Save. Yeah, good. Down to three. <laughs> Save. Uh, dead. Okay. <laughs> okay. I guess it's impossible. I guess it's impossible. Okay. All right. Fun times. Um, I mean, I'm tempted to like do easy mode, start them all out with uh, <laughs> Elder Signs and Mystic Shields, and and then they can earn more, and then go into it. But then it, it really wouldn't be a Cthulhu game, then would it, folks? So, all right. Well, thank you for bearing with me. I'm afraid that I may have finally reached my patience limit, and I may have to come back to this another time. I'll get to work on that superhero game, and I'll and I'll you know, I'll, I'll feature the new updated rules uh, in my next video. I hope that's my aim at least. Um, and I, I of course I'm going to put that up for sale on itch.io as well. For those of you that like to play the superhero version, you can download it for free or um, download it for cash. Uh, that will help support this channel. So once again, folks, thank you so much for watching and bearing with me. Um, uh, I'm, I'm gonna lie to say I, that I'm disappointed, but it's but but it doesn't matter because I still have so much fun even when I die. So I love it. Um, heck, I might start the next game with five investigators. Play the game the way it normally is, but have five investigators and see if I can do it with five. You know what? That's not a bad idea. So maybe I'll do that instead of superhero game. I don't know. I know. Maybe I'll just take a hiatus. I I don't know. I'm just so stubborn. It's just really burning me up. And I know, but. Trying it with five, is that going to be the same field of four? I don't know. I'll think about it. I'll see what I can do. Four always seems to be the sweet spot for this game, so it is called four dice for, uh, for that matter. Okay, well, thanks, folks. Thanks for watching. Thanks for bearing with me. Um, hopefully you enjoy. Hopefully you're having as much fun as I am, and hopefully you enjoy it as much as I did. Well, thanks again for all your support and uh, continuing to watch my little solo adventures uh, that I share with you all. So until next time, keep on rolling dice and playing games. Mage Hammer out.